What's up guys? Graham here. Man, it has been a terrible day. A terrible, terrible day. Um, basically, you guys have known that I've been moving out of the old house and into this current house that I'm in right now. We've actually been trying to move everything over and get everything settled in. We've gotten most of the stuff over, but really it you know we still had stuff left behind that we needed to get and uh, move over so um, we wasn't real worried about it too much as in you know we've uh, been living at the old place for a long time and really didn't uh, have anything to worry about for the most part well lo and behold I went to go check on the old house uh, just just today and I go over there and I don't even know how somebody got in but they got into my house and um, you know we're about to put that house up for sale and uh, hopefully sell it pretty soon but it was very unfortunate that somebody had gotten into the house and managed to steal a lot of stuff um, the things that they stole was collectors items now I'm somebody that has been like I used to own a gaming store and stuff like that so uh, magic the gathering cards comic books stuff like that uh, collecting valuables like that was always very important to me because you know with uh, money it's always something that people go to grab money or try to get your money in some way unless you bury it in the ground somewhere you know you can have a lawsuit you can have anything happen that people will try to get your money but collectibles is something a little bit different like somebody doesn't know if one comic book is more valuable than the other they they kind of assume that collectibles are sometimes worth something but if you steal uh, like a whole box of comic books or something like that it may be the type of comic books that would end up in a dollar bin at a comic book store or something like that you never know so putting money into collectibles a lot of times is seems like a very good investment especially whenever uh, valuable collectibles usually always go up in value so um, yeah uh, I had comic books at the old house and lo and behold they took all the comic books they left like some of the other stuff that would be uh, like they left like a TV, they left lawnmower, they left uh, you know appliances and stuff like that but they took all the comic books and the magic cards and stuff that would be worth a lot of money as in valuables that I've been stockpiling and trying to accumulate over the course of my life um, so it was very very disheartening whenever I went over and seen what had happened um, man I mean I I've been so upset about it, I, I almost was almost throwing up from the amount of uh, disappointment and just utter shock to have things taken from me. And um, especially whenever it seemed like the people knew right where to go, like to take my comic books and stuff like that. Now, would it be like somebody I knew that would take the comic books and stuff, uh, you know, uh, somebody to basically pin it on, so to say? No, not necessarily, because we've been selling stuff out of the old house, like, uh, you know, to declutter and not have to move everything over to the new house. We've been selling stuff out of the old house, so we've been putting, like, ads on, uh, like, the for sale websites and stuff, and people have been going over to the old house, and we've been selling stuff, and then locking up afterwards and leaving. And, uh, man. Uh, you know, just some of the uh, stuff that was taken, like, uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, Magic the Gathering, I had uh, an unlimited underground C taken uh, card, which is worth about six hundred dollars or so um, I had lots of graded comic books that were taken uh, I had an exclusive variant of the first appearance of Dakin which is uh, Wolverine's son and they're saying you know there's been rumors that Dakin is going to be in upcoming movies so the value of that comic book would skyrocket that comic book sells for you know three four hundred dollars you know in the graded condition that I have it in 
I had first appearances of Deadpool. I had assumed that Deadpool would become a big comic book because it was selling almost as much as Wolverine. So and anybody in the comic book market knows that Wolverine sells really big. So if Deadpool was selling about the same amount, it was I was pretty much assuming that the first appearance of Deadpool would go up. And so I bought many copies of the first appearance of him. And uh, I had some graded myself and some I bought that were already graded. And I spent about $300 each on each of the graded ones at 9.8 CGC grade. And uh, of course the other ones I spent about $75 at the time. And then I would pay to have them graded. So man i lost so much money in this uh you know the people stole so much from me and it was like the stuff that you know i had been investing in for a long time uh one of the most hurtful things that happened though is whenever they stole things they they took pictures and stuff you know the things that you know you cherish whenever you're uh uh, you know growing up or else living life you know all the pictures that you experienced and all that stuff and uh, I accumulate all these pictures well they had taken a lot of them and just basically trashed a lot of them so you know a lot of my personal belongings are, are now gone it almost feels like you know a house fire how you lose so much stuff uh, but unfortunately with this uh, there's no insurance on it so uh, uh, I have to say that one of the most hurtful things also is uh, I, whenever I was about 20 years old I was working on uh, the river on a line boat and I had uh, you know it, it was a hard job it was one of them that you didn't look forward to going out on at any time you had to go out for a month at a time and then you would be home for a month well, while I was out working on the Mississippi River on this line boat, uh, we got a call at one time that somebody had fallen off of a bridge or jumped off the bridge. I don't know which one. But the person had apparently hit the water and was unconscious. So we launched a, you know, a John boat, a small boat, and went and saved this person's life. Uh, we were able to get him in the boat, uh, bring him back to life, and uh, get the water out of his lungs somewhat. And uh, we held him until the Coast Guard got there. And it was a pretty wild experience altogether, you know, to save somebody's life. Uh, but it was something that we kind of chalked up as, well, that's our good deed for the day kind of thing. Well about a year later or several months later at least uh all of a sudden in the mail i get a plaque from the u.s navy and an admiral had sent me a plaque uh congratulating me on saving somebody's life and it was say uh, you know a very very sacred thing to me uh that you know i got this plaque and uh, you know signifying that i saved some saved somebody's life and it, it was very heartwarming to have an item like that that you can put up on the wall or something well the thieves took that as well so yeah not not a very pleasant day um unfortunately there won't be any games being played today or videos being made besides this one uh i hope you guys will uh like be more secure in your households um, I'm not sure how they got into mine, but this is the second time that I've been robbed in not too long of a time. And it's definitely different people than, uh, had robbed me in the past, uh, because it was a rental property that I got robbed at before. And, uh, the people had basically broken into it whenever I didn't have anybody living there just yet. And, uh, they took like air conditioners out of the windows and stuff like that. And of course we never found out who did it, so... Yeah, very bad day. All right, uh, if you guys ever leave a vacant house, put up some cameras or something in there because now I've I've been burnt twice by this. So, yeah. All right, guys. As usual, my name is Grim, and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day.